Well, hello, Bob Dandry here and welcome back to City Skylines where we are building the town of Lorikeet Valley. Now, I hope you enjoyed the little preview we had of Ride Trans Tasman during the week, but now we're back to building. Now, what I've been noticing over the last few episodes and th also throughout that uh, preview that I was recording was that our population has been fairly steadily dropping and I don't know why. If we have a look at our city statistics panel, we'll see that, and you can see I've already been looking at it, um, our population has sort of been fairly steadily on the decline from a high of about 46,000 or so. If we look at our birth rate and death rate, so we've got plenty of um, people being born and deaths are actually lowering. We've got an influx as well. In fact, our influx is quite a large you know, amount higher than our birth or death rates and still pretty high. I'm not noticing any abandoned buildings. We're not having issues with bodies not being picked up, anything like that. So I just don't know why um, the population is going down despite the statistics seeming to indicate that it's going up. We do absolutely have an aging population, I can, I can uh, definitely tell you that, 29% seniors. Um, so that's a problem that we'll probably experience down the line a bit. Um, but as you can see as well here, 105 births this week and well, it was 15 deaths, obviously that switched over to the new week. But regardless, I, I just don't know why, why this is happening. But we'll kick on. In any case, um, I have some plans that we'll be working on throughout this week. Um, one of which is we have this little pocket of land here, this sort of um, foreshore on the old Lorikeet Valley side of our river, which is undeveloped and is probably a missed opportunity, if I'm honest. So we'll be looking to get some um, probably medium to high density residential along this little corridor here. Um, which will hopefully um, allow us to boost our population a little bit higher. Now we've got a few roads we can take advantage of here. And as you can see, we've got Robin Street that we can definitely utilize. We also have Emma Street, which we set up for our ferry stop. And then we can potentially um, sort of break off from Garland Street and build sort of a bit of an irregular grid shape here as well. So I'm going to start off by sort of joining up those, um, those areas. And what I want to do is I want to raise up this bit of our bridge as well. Now, why we're doing that is we can hopefully get a road under there. It may be a, like a low clearance road, but I think it will definitely have room for it. Let's see if we can get a nice straight road under here. Yeah, it actually fits without any anarchy, which is excellent. And then we can just do some connections to get that looking nice and schmick. We're going to upgrade this road. This is going to mean we're going to need to resume a few houses. Um, but it is, uh, I would say, an important part of our development here, I would say. Whoops. And yeah, now we're going to work on sort of gridding this out a little bit. All right, we've done a bit of nastiness here. <laughs> so we might just try and fix that with our network multi-tool. Okay, so we've got... That was not what I expected to happen there, if I'm honest. I thought that would actually go down. That's not great. So we might, hmm, I think I'm going to change that. I don't like that at all, to be honest. We might lower down this section here. So it sort of fairly matches up with the terrain. Okay. Oops. And then we'll uh, do this. So it's a little bit of a higher, hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. Hmm. We can probably actually lower this section. It is quite high. Uh, 
Yeah, it's probably a bit better. Alright, so we've got a little bit of grid here we can build out. Um, and I've got also some other plans for this section, but I will tell you about those a little bit later. Alrighty, so we're going to sort of largely set this up with some high density residential, but I do want to lay a few paths in uh, just to maintain some access, especially where we've got these larger blocks. So we'll do that before we continue on. And I think that's enough. So we're going to plop down a fair bit of uh, residential. We're going to keep it actually, well, look, look at it. So we're going to lay down a bit of high density residential, which we will uh, limit to sort of a medium density um, using our city plan. We'll also set up a new district on this as well. Hickory Square, don't like it. We'll call it instead uh, Chittaway Shores. We probably actually could continue this along to Pier Street, but I think I might leave it just right now for the moment. We do have a few sort of reasonably irregular um, block sizes, so hopefully this all works out. <laughs> uh, we might allow a little bit of high density commercial Uh, now, over down here, we're going to switch back to uh, low density. Now, to support this new uh, residential development we're doing, we want to give them a new public transport option. And this is going to be um, an interesting one, to say the least. And it, it's going to sort of throw out some of the changes we actually made a few episodes ago with this stop here. Um, what I'm actually going to do, we're going to shift this stop over to sort of where Annabelle Street is sitting right now, which we're going to get rid of. Um, why we're going to be doing that is we're going to be um, essentially... Uh, running this as a through line now. now it's going to require another bridge crossing of course we, which we love obviously because we keep doing them um, but it will probably make sense i think in the long run Now that we've moved this stop over, we're going to need to build our bridge and we're going to run pretty much parallel to our road bridge, but we're going to do something a little bit different with our road bridge. We're actually going to probably lift up just a tiny bit. And the reason why we want to do that is because we want to be able to get under it at the other side here. All right, it took way too long to work out how to make that reversible, um, considering I did it a couple of episodes ago, but I fixed it up. And um, now we'll continue on, you know, what we actually need to be doing, which is building this bridge across. Oh, hang on, that's not what I meant to do there. <laughs> did not mean to connect those up. It's 
it's all falling apart over here. More or less. <laughs> um, so we want this to be raised. For, so, but it doesn't appear to want to raise. Uh, there we go. And then we want to see if we can... How was this? Oh, that's way too low anyway. <laughs> Ignore me. Could be better, sure. Uh, could also be worse though, I suppose. Um, so yeah, basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to be running this up Web Street all the way to the end and probably placing a terminus station over here uh, near Pier Street. Alrighty, so we've got our tram line set up now that goes along Chidway Shores, which is good. It's a nice, um, I, I guess, utilisation of this tram line we sort of originally only placed down to service Lafayette Hill. So that is uh, good, I think. That's a good choice. Um, so now we'll uh, grab that line and we'll extend it. And of course, this crossing here does have the opportunity um, to, to really help us out down the line and potentially expand a little bit further in a subsequent episode. So I'm excited to see what you think of that. So we got our new tram corridor down to Old Lorikeet Valley and Toronto. That is all done and running. And our population is starting to bounce back a little bit. It's back up to almost 38,000. Um, but we still got a long way to go till we get back to where we were before. And also till we, um, you know, head towards our target population, which I think, what is 65,000? 60,000. So... Yeah, we, we were not that far away before, um, but since we've had this massive dive in our population, we are, yeah, a long way away now. But we've got massive, massive demand for residential, so I wonder where we could potentially look to place down a new neighbourhood. So we are, you know, using a reasonable amount of the um, sort of surface area we have available, but we've still got some little patches that we can use. Uh, we don't want to expand too much this Chatswood area because we do want Lorikeet Farms to be able to continue to level up, um, which obviously um, it needs to do to get to a five-star rating. Now, I think Thornton is an option to expand. We've got a reasonably flat area of land sort of uh, between this road here and our second railway line. That is going to cause some conflict, obviously. But I think I have a plan as to how we can sort of make that work um, without too much trouble. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to set up a, a bit of a, a split collector, um, sort of running along this uh, um, rail line, sort of splitting it in the middle. That probably made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use our parallel road tool, and we are going to create a parallel between sort of these two points here. Let's have that onto the other side. And we also want to invert the network as well. And then we'll tab it to the other side and place that down as well. So we've got this here. I think it's reasonable. It's a bit weird. And I know it's a bit weird, <laughs> um, but I think it probably makes sense to what we want to do here. We will need to 
probably place down a uh, or connect up a, a sort of a collector back into town here. And I think we're, our point here is going to be Jones Street. That's what will become our collector. And we'll use a narrow collector as well. So we'll be losing some parking, but that is okay. Now I try to do this whole thing of um, uh, making this a weird like single node where everything sort of joined together and it did not work. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> um, instead what we're going to do is just sort of tunnel under it I think. I think that makes sense. <laughs> and then we've got, so these two one-way roads that sort of run along the length of this rail line. So we've got a lot of um, space we can use to develop over here. We've also got something we could set up as a little park as well. Um, so I might start by sort of marking that park down so we don't inadvertently zone on it. And then, yeah, now I want to see, I want to try, I don't know if it works, if we could potentially sort of join these all into one zone or one node when we want to actually cross over. I don't know if it'll work that way or not, um, but we will have to see. I'm suggesting this probably won't work, um, but I want to see if um, if a train comes here, if it would stop all traffic. I'm assuming it would. I don't know if we actually know if we have trains that run through here, to be completely honest. In any case, we're not going to get any traffic along here until we start building a <laughs> start building some residential. So I might grid this out. Uh, we'll probably just grid sort of how it's naturally sort of sat. A little bit like that. And obviously, if you want to go in this direction, you just need to find a place where there's a crossover. Alright, so I'm going to lay a little bit of commercial down along our uh, collector and then the rest we will have as low density commercial.
Well, as you can see, we're starting to see a little bit more growth in the city now. We're heading back towards that 40,000 figure, which is good. And hopefully we continue to expand the city because yeah, I'm not sure why we shrank so fast so quickly. It just doesn't make sense to me. But we're going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description. Big shout out to uh, my Twitch. If you got Twitch, please get on there and follow me. I need 50 followers to get a little bit of money. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.